Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage A301-338 tailpiece. They say for Everest and Primus. And let's take some basic dimensional properties of this and then we'll talk about where it's used. An overall length, point, I'm sorry, 1.229. 1.229 would be an overall length. The width of the tailpiece, 0.245. Thickness, 0.093093. The overall length from the base. One point one zero two. One point one zero two right from here down to the top of that. Now you'll notice that there are a couple of different ways to orient that um, tailpiece in the back of the cylinder. That's obviously going to allow you to accommodate whether or not you're dealing with a um, well, they say it's for uh, A series grade two. That would normally be so that you can accommodate either installing it horizontally or vertically. But we'll discover in a moment exactly why it's prepped that way. But it's going to be also a reason of the system. Uh, the Everest Primus, you're going to be uh, restricted in terms of where you'll end up being able to prep the back of the cylinder plug for the spring and the threaded cap pin because of um, the position of the check pin or the so or the finger pins. So let's figure out where we're going to use this right now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are indeed looking at. Let's take a look at some photographs that we have posted down below. Okay, another set of them. Not uh, much to see there. Backside, obviously. Okay, now we also have a parts drawing um, that's shown here. And the A301338, it's going to be used obviously in the A series or the now discontinued H series, which was their interconnected lock. It was basically a B. Maybe a B400 series deadbolt and then an A-line lock was what the H series was comprised of. Or maybe a 100 series lock. I don't recall what deadbolt they put in the H series. But it's for a grade 2 knob sort of platform um, is what this tailpiece would be used for. This is going to be used with uh, orbit knobs. Okay. For these cylinder types. They list, um, it's always going to be a Primus cylinder, but they can do the Everest variant on keyways when it comes to Primus. And that tailpiece part number, the A301338, is still appropriate. And here is where it will begin to make sense in terms of why you're going to see these tailpieces with different preparations for the pin and the spring that holds the threaded cap in. And it's all to do with the positioning of where they've prepped the cylinder or the finger pins. Okay, you see how that changes. Very typical common example would be, of course, the, um, you know, anything small format, really. And what I mean by that is small format is a good example of how the approach has to change with where you can prep in the back of the cylinder when you have a control sleeve and a control driver and a control shear line, things of that nature. And of course Schlage um, has to make those same sort of considerations or accommodations based on their cylinder technology as well. So this chart is handy uh, here because it will show you the other um, items. There are I believe three pages in this document that will show you all of the other instances of where this tailpiece comes in based on what you're working on. Obviously this will work in a Corbin Ruswin 
a couple of series of Corbin Russwin locks. Now the reference to orbit knob is important because, um, you know, the 337 would work for an A and H style lock. That's going to be, um, you know, for your same type of cylinder. And we can check that by looking back at our chart, 337, except orbit. The difference here is because the orbit is a much deeper trim, you need a longer tailpiece. So there you go. This A73 requires an even longer tailpiece because of the function of the lock. I believe that's a um, hotel function would be my guess. Uh, we can look up and see what an A73, in fact, is. Switch over to the product catalog, which is linked to on the manufacturer's page, which I'll show you that in a moment. And it does not seem to come up. Let's see if the A73 is in the service manual. And I'll show you where these resources are near the end of this video. And in the service manual, it comes up a couple of times. But they don't tell us the function. So let's take a dive down the internet rabbit hole and see what an A73 function is or was. A73 is not coming up in my search, however, I believe we can still find it. I've got on the manufacturer's page below this video here, when you click on that link, it'll open up our landing page within our site. I happen to have an older catalog, and if it's a hotel function, which is possibly a discontinued item in the A line, I've got a 1981 service manual here. Um, let's take a look. A series, a, yep, right there, A73 Hello? on page 15. Okay. Yeah, dormitory motel lock. So a dormitory motel lock, rotating either knob will retract the latch. Push button locking from the inside. Rotating inside knob or closing the door releases the button automatically, preventing accidental lockout. From the outside, full turn with key locks or unlocks outside trim. Key may also be used to release the button. So, yeah, dormitory motel lock. That's There's a tailpiece just for this function, even though Schleg no longer makes the um, A-line lock function. They prop, and actually, they have discontinued the D-series, so that, uh, I don't know if there was ever a D-73 back in the catalog. Yeah, well, there's a lever D-73 function, which was an F-90, and an F-90, they don't give us the ANSI function for that in this service manual. Um, I have a 1982 catalog here. That's going to take a minute to load. Let me do click on that 1982 catalog. It's a pretty unwieldy document, but nonetheless it will allow you to take a look at the um, A-line locks that they were making in that era. And this is really just a suites catalog is what it is. So it's not going to have a list of all of the functions available. But nonetheless, we'll give an overview of what Schlage was making almost 40 years ago. So um, on that link to the manufacturer's page here, I'd like to point out to you where all those resources are that I've been dipping into. So first of all, you can view not only all of the Schlage products that we sell, by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to their full product catalog here. The service manual is up here at the top. 
those archival catalogs are here. The collection as it stands right now is here. And then other encyclopedic documents are here. For instance, the Primus service manual is here. So if you are working on Primus, which you are clearly, if you are buying these tailpieces, this would be the Primus service manual that will allow you to review all things Primus when it comes to servicing the product. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, in conclusion, if you have any questions on the Schlage A301 338 tailpiece, or Primus no, uh, Orbit style knobs, or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. Um, I'm partial to Schlage, and it's uh, for a number of reasons, in fact. Most certainly because I'm just very familiar with the product line, and I think most people who work within this industry are. Schlage is such a ubiquitous name that you end up working on Schlage all the time. So become, becoming familiar with their product line as it has evolved over the years is something that one just generally picks up. But also, objectively, they have an exceptional technical support department. And to them, for that, I say thank you very much. Their soul is each. If you buy one, we'll ship you one. This client happened to order 10. If you have any questions on the Schlage A301-338 tailpiece or any other Schlage product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.